What's up guys, Log here, and today I have the review and unboxing of the HyperX Savage SSD. This is a very nice SSD that is meant for the enthusiast who likes very fast hardware. So without any further ado, let's get right into the unboxing. So taking a look, opening up the box, you can find the SSD at the very top. So it looks very good with the red and black accents and also a white strip going down the sides. So underneath the SSD, we'll find a spacing bracket to make it a few millimeters thicker. So if you need that, it's there for you. And it's all enclosed in some very high quality foam. So if you take the foam out and flip it over, you'll find a 2.5 inch to 5.5 inch optical bay adapter. So that works if you want to stick it inside your optical bays if you don't have any more SSD slots or hard drive slots. Next, taking that foam out, you can find we have a very nice high quality screwdriver, which is very nice that they include it for you. And as you can see, if you turn and open up the screwdriver, you have two different size of bits that you can use, and it is also magnetic. So I really like what they have included in there. And finally, we have an external drive bay that works really well. It has a locking mechanism, and it has a brushed aluminum, very nice finish on top. It's plastic, but overall, for an external drive bay, it's very, very nice. And I wasn't expecting to get any of this, but instead, I got a lot of extra goodies, which I really do like. So inside is also some screws and some manuals. So finally, you get a USB 3.0 micro USB cable to attach the external hard drive to the computer. So taking another look at the SSD, it looks very nice and it's the standard size for an SSD. There's nothing really unusual about it. And since it's in the back of my computer, you don't really see it that often. So looks don't really matter, but it's there if you like it for custom builders and sometimes boutique builders if they want it to look nice. So how does it do with speed? Well, I used Crystal Dismark 4.0 for the 64-bit version, and you can see that I got around the 500s, which is very good for an SSD. And also, you can see the other numbers slowing down as we go down to 4K. And overall, it's a really, really fast SSD, and I'm happy with the performance. So for an SSD, these are really good results. And also, you can see this in real-life performance. It's super smooth, and it's just really, really awesome. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If it helped you out, please make sure you hit that like button and also share so you can help more people out. Also, be sure to subscribe for more tech videos like this and lots of more LG G4 coverage coming soon. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.